I'm Sasha Neuer. I'm a PhD student in the Environmental and Life Sciences program at Trent University. Well, I study mammals and their behavior, but my bread and butter is flying squirrel vocalizations. So I'm interested in how they're using their vocalizations, in which contexts, and who they're communicating with when they use them. Flying squirrels are really interesting because they're super elusive. So most people can go their entire lives without ever seeing them, even though they live in our own backyards. And the reason for this is because they're nocturnal. So they only come out at night, which makes them really hard for most people to see. And on top of it, they don't really like people. Flying squirrels also have some really interesting characteristics that make them really unique among different types of squirrels. So first of all, they glide, so they don't actually fly like a lot of people assume uh, but they can glide really far. They communicate with ultrasonic vocalization so that means we can't hear basically any of the calls that they're making but I can use specialized recording equipment to listen to those really high frequency vocalizations. In the past couple of years a researcher discovered that flying squirrels fluoresce bright pink under UV light which most people wouldn't have guessed and it took us a long time to figure this out and this is something that we're still really trying to figure out the function of, but it's fascinating to see them fluoresce such a bright color when you shine this light on them. And then finally, flying squirrels eat truffles. So they actually dig them up and eat them and then spread them across the forest floor. In northern habitats, flying squirrels are really key in the health of an ecosystem and making sure that there's enough fungi around for trees to be healthy, which in turn, flying squirrels use and glide from. Recently, I was involved in a project with National Geographic and Disney Plus looking at the really interesting traits that flying squirrels have in a special that they're doing called Supernatural. And so for this process, uh, we had a team come to us and we trapped flying squirrels and then released them into controlled filming environments. And threaded together you get a really interesting story of flying squirrels nesting together, emerging from their nests, gliding around, finding truffles, and then returning to their home for the night. And so I was lucky enough to be the squirrel wrangler on this project where I was required to do the trapping and handling for this project and then trying to retrieve flying squirrels from these controlled uh, arenas that we had them in, aquariums. At one point we have a log that we put them into with a few different flying squirrels to get that nesting behavior. Um, so it was just fascinating to be a part of it and see how they record what we think is a flying squirrel just naturally running around in the woods is actually over 30 squirrels threaded together into this one shot that you get at the end. Some of the unique challenges of filming flying squirrels is first and foremost they only come out at night so our days start at 2 p.m. and go till 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning and on top of that for some reason these crews love to come during winter so we get to hike around in the woods with our snowshoes on. We're trying to protect the squirrels from the snow and keep them warm. And on top of that, flying squirrels don't come out for nearly as long during the winter months. This is because they get really cold and they need each other to stay warm. And so we're really reducing the hours in which we can trap these flying squirrels. We film for up to two weeks at a time, every single day going out for up to 12 hours. So it's a really intense period of time, but it's worth it for the shots that we get. But when you see those final shots, you know, it'll be probably less than five minutes of footage. It's over two weeks of work and, like I said, up to 30 squirrels per shot that you're seeing. So whether it's them gliding or landing on a tree, every time we're resetting the camera and every time we're releasing up to that many squirrels to get those shots. It's really crazy, yeah. I'm really lucky that I work with them in a context that I can interact with them safely and I can interact with a lot of them over a short period of time. Getting to work with so many film crews during my PhD has really been not only an honor, but a really cool experiment for me in science communication and a way to explore what that can look like and how you can take an animal that's as hard to film as a flying squirrel and turn it into something that now thousands, if not millions of people can enjoy. 
And on top of that, being a behavioral ecologist, someone who wants to look at what an animal is doing more or less in a natural environment, learning the ways that we can record these animals um, in a way that we can digest that information is just fascinating. Yeah, and useful for me. <laughs> Supernatural airs on Disney Plus September 21st. Don't miss it. <laughs>